Okay. So just, just like pressing the pops in your hand. Ready? Miss mm -hmm. Marvel or Captain Marvel? Miss Marvel. <laughs> Iron or vibranium? Ooh, vibranium. Squirrel or spider? Squirrel. Patriot or Captain? Captain. Alright. Last thing, word association. Be like a quick whatever oh, pops in your mind. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. Rising. Marvel. <laughs> Lockjaw. Cute. Marvel. Rising. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. Iron. Hang on, this is gonna be so boring. Miss. Patriot. Spoilers. None. <laughs> <laughs> So what fun stuff is coming up for this one? Um, well, you'll be seeing uh, a lot more about where she comes from and who she is. Um, there's going to be a fun interaction with Ms. Marvel and a few other characters. Some of the stuff we've already seen with her in Inferno. Uh, some other stuff with some of the other oh. characters. <laughs> I never know how much I can say in these things. Um, yeah, it's going to be more of the relationships between Ms. Marvel and the other superheroes and, you know, their dynamic and their interactions and where those might go. <laughs> awesome questions. Uh, one thing that I appreciate about the show is the diversity of the cast and the, and the uh, characters and I have two daughters who absolutely love the show and it's a, they're the perfect age for it so it's really nice to have something for, that's made for them but I feel like also we need to introduce boys to watching girls too so yeah. how do you feel about that reaching out to, to a young audience and kind of, well you can speak about that. yeah I mean girls have been watching boys all their lives and I think it's really the bottom line is we're all human beings, we all have the same kinds of emotions, and we go through the same struggles and fears, and I think, you know, it was never, things were never marketed to us as, you know, a boy show. It was always a show, and I think that's sort of what's, what we're trying to do with, with the Marvel uh, Rising stuff, is, is that it's, it's a show for everybody. It's a show. There happen to be a lot of female superhero characters, but, but everyone can relate to, to what they go through. To. Um, their their struggles and, and how much they want to be superheroes and how they're really trying to prove themselves and so I think if if we if we kind of frame it in that way and that it's that it's for everyone it just happens to be a show with a lot of girls in it I, I don't think it should be difficult to reach out to to, to younger boy audiences. Well, I was curious when you were preparing for the character, what did you feel were the most important elements that you wanted to make sure that you brought to the um, I think Kamala's compassion for everyone, the empathy that she has, where she really wants to uh, make sure that she understands a person before she makes any judgment about them. Uh, I think that's really something that I admire about the character, and what I love about Kamala, is that for me, I, you know, if I was ever having issues, I think I'd want to go to Kamala too, because she seems to be the type of person to take the time to understand you. And so, of course, I always want that like genuine compassion to come through, but also she's just a fun character, and, and her enthusiasm for what she's doing. Um, you know, her dreams are coming true, so bringing that kind of excitement and joy to, to everything that she does uh, is always important. And also, I always say that she's written in a really fun way in every project that I've been a part of. So it's not so hard, because the words are there. It's just about, you know, getting them out properly. Cool. <laughs> On that, how do you find it different acting, voice acting versus on screen acting? How do you get all of that emotion? Yeah, it's um, on screen can be a lot more subtle. You know, you've got your emotion on your face and in your eyes. You can't really do that with, with voice acting. So um, the directors are very helpful <laughs> with that. Uh, but yeah, it's really just trying to get those emotions out as, as clearly and as, um, it's big. Your performances end up being bigger than they would be on screen. And also just the action stuff was something that was an adjustment period for me. And like the punches and the kicks and the, you know, the flings, it's, uh, those are, 
those took me a minute to, to really get down. There's a lot of, they'll just do this. Yeah. All right, well, I guess that's what I'm doing. So yeah, they're fun now. There's a lot of emphasis on the Squirrel Girl and Miss Marvel, like fun, like buddy cop kind of dynamic. And that's also like what the Marvel Rising comics started with. So what do you think makes them such a dynamic duo? I think they're just so supportive of one another and they really want to see the other person succeed. I mean, they're, they're one another's uh, type people. And, um, you know, that's important in any kind of friendship or relationship is that you really, really want to see the other person do well. And they really love each other and they have fun together. So I think the fact that they have this beautiful friendship, but it's a friendship that's based on a lot of love and support, that's, you know, that's what makes them so fun to watch. Thank you all so much. Oh, no, you're fine. Are you okay? We're going to wrap this one up? Sure. One more question? Well, no, I was just going to, I was just going to, I was just going to ask, um, the, sh the, New, uh, this introduces Riri. Do you see Kamala becoming like a mentor to her? Would you like to see her mentoring other superheroes the way that Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel has mentored her? I think Kamala would love to serve that position at some point because you know she she she's a natural helper. So I, I could see her wanting to do that. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.